Lulu here behind the camera. It doesn't take much to make me happy these days. And one of those things is the possibility of plenty of peas. That in alliteration. The possibility of plenty of peas. I also have a plethora of peonies which are nearly gone by. I picked a lot of them. I didn't stake these up high enough. So it's a cascade. The box gloves are coming out. That makes me happy. This was a pink rose that went back to its roots. Obviously hybridized. And let's go back into the vegetable garden, which is where my happiness began this morning as I was watering. Once again, plenty of peas possible. That makes me so happy. unhappy is the sign of little critters that are coming out of the ground and eating the peas off at the roots. So here are potatoes. More alliteration opportunity. Plenty of peas and potatoes. This morning when I was watering, I scared the blue heron. Not intentionally. It's living in the pond over there somewhere. One of the corners. And the squash. This is summer squash. It's popping up. And these are, this is from old seeds. That's why there's only one. I plant, there were three seeds, I think, and one grew. That other one is actually another old seed, but I started it indoors. That's why it's so much bigger. The carrots are growing, makes me happy. And a few of the scallions, but not very many. This chard, that also makes me happy. And beets. And again, the borage that reseeded itself is starting to bloom, or setting buds. And the purple bush beans in front of the corn. These are called the three sisters. The corn, the beans, and the squash. Although the Indians, when they talked about the three sisters, they would plant them like together in a circle, I think. And they, I think they also use pole beans. So the corn would grow, the beans could grow up the corn stalk, and they would both shade the squash because the squash doesn't like too much sun. Just the right amount of sun, but not too much. And I noticed this morning that a tomato has formed. And though that tomato down there needs to be staked up better, it fell over. And I 
don't, I haven't decided what I should do. If I should just let it grow like it is, pinch off the growth down below, or cut off the top growth and let. I guess there's two stems there. I should probably experiment with one and cut off the top and see if the bottom will grow more hardly. And this is the winter squash growing. It's usually slower starting. And those are the purple pole beans. These are the new green beans. And then up in the last section are the last year's green beans. And there's red onion growing on the other side of the fence. Did some flower seeds here, some zinnias that are growing up. Obviously, they all ended up bunched up, some cosmos, and some lemon and tangerine marigolds, which I know from past years are very slow to start. And what else is growing? Those are the parsnips from last year. And then there's a few carrots that I planted in the spring. And there are a few scallions that I planted in the spring. This kale is from two years ago. It itself and you see itself again. And then I've got shard growing here and there, which makes me happy. And I planted basil seeds here that are coming up. Planted them last week. And all of that dill reseeded itself, and I love dill. I also planted sage seeds here, and I don't see any. All of these seeds I planted, um, actually not inside, but just outside the back door in these little... So this is sage. It seems to like growing there better than in the ground. And this is basil that I planted weeks ago. And it seems to like growing in the ground better than it likes growing there in the containment. And I have somewhere in here, oh, there's <laughs> scallions that are, I probably should pull them out because the Peas are taking over. There's some more down in there. And some lettuce. Some of it's bolting already. And this big patch of cilantro. This sees itself every year. Asparagus. And this is Italian flat leaf parsley that reseeded itself from like three years ago or three or four years ago. I started it from a packet of seeds and it's just been reseeding itself year after year, which delights me. And some more peas that I planted from last year's seeds. Oh, that one right there looks really strong and healthy. It makes me happy. Okay. 
You should have heard the birds this morning. At about 4.30, 5 o'clock, they were going wild. It was a symphony of bird song. That's it for now.